You know, I think this is the first time in DGN history that a pair of siblings have been on the video announcements. Actually, it's not. What do you mean? I did some research. In 1975, Wild Bill and Mild Phil were co-announcers. Watch this clip. a spicy meatball. These have been your video announcements. Now that's a spicy meatball. Now that's a spicy meatball. Now that's a spicy meatball. Why did you say that? It, it says it right there. Why? I don't know. Mr. Wait, why does it say that? I don't know. I didn't put it there. Oh no, it must be Wild Bill. He's back. It's not me. I'm a vegan. Just because you're a vegan doesn't mean you aren't messing with the script. You guys, Wild Bill is a doll, all right? He can't say or do anything. Bobby, mix. And now, here's a shout out from the second period parapsychology class. Wait, I think the audio wasn't working. Let's try that again. That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. What is going on? Mr. White, do you know anything about this? Why is everyone in this school always saying that's a spicy meatball? It's not Wild Bill, is it? Joe, we're back. Joe. What's wrong? In the paper, in the what's hot, what's not section. Look what it says. Spicy meatballs are not hot? That, that seems like an oxymoron. <laughs> what's going on? I don't know. What's that? No, don't touch it. I had to. Nate. It's blood. What? Just kidding, it's sauce. Is it spicy? Stick around after the announcements to find out. And look for a video from the wrestling team. Look, it's a trail of sauce. I wonder where it goes. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. It's a pile of meatballs! Hey Mix, where does meat like to dance? I don't know Bobby, where? The meatball! <laughs> Did you see that? What? Ah, I guess it was nothing. Look, the sauce goes underneath the door! There's only one thing to do. Good morning, these are your video announcements for Friday, October 27th. Kevin, let's just get this out of the way. Yeah, um, everyone's probably wondering what happened to Migs, Bobby, Natalie, Ben, Joe, and Nate. To be honest, we do not know, and Mr. Wade is missing as well. But the good news is that the librarians helped us find a map from when the school was built. And it turns out there's a whole network of tunnels under the school. 
After the announcements, we're going to find our missing friends. Stay tuned to see what happens. And wish us luck. All right, we can't tell you where we are right now, but we think this is where all the spicy meatball stuff is coming from. Now that's a spicy meatball. Now that's a spicy meatball. What's happening? I don't know. It's like they're brainwashed. Enough. I'm going to put an end to this. Joe, Natalie, you're okay. Well, of course we are. Now that's a spicy meatball. Why are you doing this? Because the meatballs. They're so spicy. Where did you get those? Who are you? What are you doing? Wild Bill, I knew it! Wait, that's not Wild Bill. That's right, it's me, Mild Phil. You're real, but Wild Bill isn't? <laughs> of course I'm real. If I weren't real, could I do this? But Mr. Waite said repeatedly you weren't real. Perhaps it is Mr. Waite who is not real. Wait, Mr. Waite's a dummy? Yeah. <gasps> but why are you doing this? It's always been my dream to have a meatball company called Mild Phil's Spicy Meatballs. But nobody's gonna buy spicy meatballs from a guy named Mild Phil. So you were using the school video announcements to brainwash the school into thinking that the meatballs were spicy? Genius! And now that you know the truth, we're going to have to relocate you. Relocate? Troy, I'm scared. Me too, what are we gonna do? If you can't beat him, join him. No, there has to be something we can do. Wait, why don't you just call yourself Wild Phil instead of Mild Phil? I could never do that. My brother will never share his name with me. Come on, Come on Bill. Bill. What do you say? Mild Phil, you are my brother. I would do anything for you. Even share my name. You would do that for me? Of course. Aww. Hurrah! Problem solved! Can you stop brainwashing the school now? Yeah, that phrase is busted. Be careful what you wish for. Now that we have the same name, our powers have increased tenfold. Hey, do you notice anything weird about the set today? No. What? Well, there's nothing on it except this mysterious package. <laughs> it says do not open. I think we should leave it be. Good idea. I can't stand the suspense anymore. I have to open this. Yeah, we should definitely open it. A uh, doghouse? What's that? I don't know. Looks harmless. I don't know. Anyway, these have been your video announcements. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We are DGN. <laughs> These have been your video announcements. What was that? It sounded like dogs barking. That doesn't make any sense. There are no dogs around here. You're probably right. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We, we are DGN. Okay, can we check out that doghouse now? Sure. What does it say? Um, family names in picture frames of dog as you must put. If tempers flare, beware, beware, for in the doghouse you'll be put. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's open it. Uh-oh. What's wrong? The dog has my name on it. Man, it's in the doghouse.
Mr. Wait, what's going on? Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? And now, here's a shout out from Miss John Wick's second period class. <laughs> What? Why were they barking? I don't know. Let's look at that again. Is that the dog Chris turned into last week? I think so. Let's look again. That's crazy. Wait, let's check the dog house. Look at who's in the dog house. What is going on? I don't know. Let's just finish this up before something else happens. Cassie, is it up there? What? The doghouse? No, I don't see it. Wait. What? I think that's the dog that Chris turned into. Let's should just ignore it and maybe it'll go away. Good idea. What was that? I think it was the Chris dog. Don't turn around. Let's just keep going. Okay. Okay, I think we have to deal with this. What do you want? Help me, help me. What should we do? I've got an idea. Let's take it to the school nurse. She might know what to do. Good idea. Oh wait, let's wrap up the announcements first. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We are DGN. Let me hold that. No, it's okay. I got it. It's fine. No, really, let me hold it. I said I was fine. No, I insist. So, where do you think the dogs are? Think about it. I'm drawing a blank. That little door. Of course. Stick around after the announcements to check out the door with us. These have been your video announcements. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We are DGN. Now, let's go check out that door. Do you think we should go in? We've got to. The dogs aren't barking anymore. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, this is too spooky for me. Wait, what are those? Look, it's one of the dogs from the doghouse. And the label maker. And the PJ and Cassie dogs. And the bow tie. What the hell? We gotta tell someone. It's locked. I can hear the dogs. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Look, there's a tunnel. I don't want to go to a tunnel. Come on, it's our only chance. Let's go. Barking. We must be getting close to the dogs. No, I think it's someone crying. Either way, let's go put an end to this hullabaloo. <laughs> Wild Bill! What the? Leave me alone. What's wrong? I lost my bow tie. Ha ha! We knew it was you. Where's Nolan and Colin? And PJ and Cassie. And what did you do to Chris? 
It wasn't me, I promise. And you don't even know the worst of it. What are you talking about, Wild Bill? My brother, Wild Phil, also got turned into a dog. Aw, he's so cute! <laughs> cute? He's a dog. I'm allergic to dogs. Choo! Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? Oh no, they'll blame me. I better get out of here. Okay, so what's your plan? Follow me. Hey, this is where Maggie and Evie got trapped. Whatever happened to them? Funny you should ask. I asked that the scene of the crime be preserved so a detailed forensic analysis can be conducted. Great, let's take a look. No, wait, I hired a professional. Kyle, what are you doing here? Not many people know this, but I am the great-great-grandson of one of the world's most famous detectives. Who? One Sherlock Holmes. Isn't Sherlock Holmes a fictional character? In the great drama of life, are we not all fictional characters? Let's explore the scene of this crime. <gasps> hmm. They've been turned into dogs! Very perceptive, Matt, but you failed to notice the most important detail of this scene. What's that? Take a whiff. Do you smell that? Yeah. What is it? That is the smell of Edelweiss. What's that? A mountain flower. But what can it mean? It's obvious, Ellie. <phone rings> it's my mom. Yeah? Uh-huh. But mom... Okay, fine. I gotta go. I have a podiatrist appointment. But wait! What about the Edelweiss? Huh. There's plenty of time for that. The game is afoot. We must relish the chance to bring the perpetrator of these canine crimes to justice. But... All in good time, Ellie. All in good time. Well, gotta run. Well, not run, because my foot. Well, bye. Okay, so last week's attempt to solve the doghouse mystery didn't seem to pan out. Yeah, all we learned was that the smell of Edelweiss at the scene of the crime, but at least Ellie and Matt didn't get caught. No, see, that was actually a bad thing. If we're going to solve this and bring back all of our missing announcers, we're going to need a criminal to act again and make more mistakes. I thought Kyle Shirley Lock Holmes was on the case. I don't know if I trust him. I have my own idea. What is it? I'll tell you when we're done with the announcements. Okay. Okay. Will you tell me what your plan is now? Sure, after this. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? So, what's your plan? We're gonna set a trap. Okay. And use ourselves as bait. I don't know if that's a good idea. I've seen it done in lots of movies and TV shows. It always works. No, it doesn't. Well, we'll be smarter about it. Let's go. Well, here we are. So, what do we do now? Just follow me. Oh, it's too bad we're in this secluded location where there are no security cameras. It's a real shame that we're so vulnerable to being turned into dogs. So, what's the plan anyway? You'll see. What was that? Uh, I think it was those rats. Who are you calling a rat? Yeah, leave us out of this. Oh, we're sorry. Whoa, wait, wait. That, that definitely wasn't rats. I think it was the dogs. Uh, I'm having second thoughts. Maybe we shouldn't do this. 
No, we've started this. Now we have to see it through. It's getting louder. Whoever or whatever it is must be getting closer. the same thing of you. Seems suspicious that you're holding those dogs. Owen asked me to jump in and catch the criminal, but a freshman was stuck in his locker so I got delayed. Interesting. What are those? Hmm, I didn't notice those before. Hmm, four autographed pictures of one Arnold Schwarzenegger. What do you think it means? I don't know. But we'll have to take them for further investigation. Wait a minute. I thought you had a hurt foot. Of course I do. Oh, looks like you missed something. These have been your video now. Wait, that's it? Aren't we gonna do anything to crack the doghouse case? Shh. I'm trying to keep it low-key. Maybe we can catch the perpetrator by surprise. Oh, good idea. These have been your video announcements. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We, we are, are DGN. DGN. All right, let's go. What are we doing here? It just so happens I was able to obtain the doghouse itself. Where'd all the dogs go? I don't know, but we're gonna do some tests on it. Great, what kind of tests? We can use these spectrometer lenses to see if there's any fingerprints on it. Uh, these just look like regular lab goggles. Looks can be deceiving, put them on. Whoa! Hey, 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 let's uh, see if there's anything on the doghouse. I don't see anything. Me either. Well then you missed the most important thing. What are you doing here? I've been hired to solve this case. And that is what I shall do. What did we miss? Look here. How could we have missed that? What is it? Raspberry jam. But what could it mean? To answer that question, we must use the greatest tool in the history of the universe. The human brain. No, Google. No, I refuse to believe that Google is more powerful than the human brain. We shall see. Let's see, we have Edelweiss, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and now Raspberry Jam. <gasps> Got it. Austria. Austria? Well done, my friend. Edelweiss is the national flower of Austria. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a famous celebrity from Austria. And raspberry jam is used to make Linzer cookies, a very popular treat from Austria. But what does Austria have to do with the doghouse? Wait, where did he go? I don't know, but I'm more confused than ever. <laughs> what was that? Good morning. These are your video announcements for Friday, April 6th. In case you didn't notice, there are six of us today. That's right. We have spent countless hours analyzing the video announcements, and we have solved the case of the doghouse. Take that, Kyle Sherlock Holmes. You might recall that Miss Mitchell found a small scrap of paper on March 16th. Oh, looks like you missed something. We have analyzed that paper and discovered that it is a reference to room 135. And I'm going to go there, live, during the announcements, and find out what is there. Wish me luck! I think it's time to check in on Marcelo. Good idea! 
Marcelo, what have you found? Hey everybody, you're never going to believe this, but room 135 is actually the four practice rooms in the fine arts hallway. But I'm going to be checking out each one. Great, we'll come back to you in a few minutes. What is that sound? It's not the dogs, is it? Nah, it sounds more like a song. We'd better check in on Marcelo. I don't know what to tell you guys. I've been looking through each one of these rooms, and I haven't found a thing. What should I do? Guys? Guys, are you there? I'm coming back. the announcements. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. We are DGN. So it's happened again. Yeah, but all I managed to find was this white yarn. This isn't yarn. Now, what's your idea? Well, Remember last week when they went to room 135 because of how they interpreted this piece of paper? Yeah. Well, they interpreted it incorrectly. Look closely. It's actually the initials K S. Kyle Shirleylock Holmes, of course. That's right. And I've asked him here. You rang? Yeah. We've got some questions for you. What did you mean last week when you said that wasn't yarn? This isn't yarn. Funny you should ask. On Monday morning I went to visit Mr. Tilton. Mr. Tilton, I'm curious if you have any leads in the doghouse case. Well, we are looking into quite a few leads. But this is probably one of the most bizarre cases ever to hit Downers Grove North. <coughs> Todd, Herr Shirley Lock Holmes. Who's that? Allow me to introduce Fraulein Hundahuta. She's a dean of international students from Austria. Austria? Where'd she go? I look forward to meeting you again. I guess she had somewhere to be. Thank you, Mr. Tilden. This has been invaluable. You think an old Austrian lady is responsible for all of this? I do. Well, what are we gonna do? I have a plan. Chris, come here, boy. Chris? But he was broken. I had an AP Bio student fix him up for extra credit. It's only one problem, though. But he also has all the other traits of a bloodhound. He's going to lead us straight to Fräulein Hundehuta. Go, boy! Are you okay? That was quite a tumble. I've had worse. Is there anything we can do for you? In fact, there is. You can begin by telling me what you know about Fräulein Hundehuta, Kevin Sattleben.
So. So what? What is this even all about? Oh, I think you know what this is all about. Are you charging my client with something or not? You're a hotshot defense lawyer now, are you? I've seen an episode of Law and Order, or at least part of one. Look, I've told you a thousand times, I don't know anything about any Fraulein Hoodoo lady. Why would I know anything about an old Austrian lady? Hmm, that's no way to talk about your mother-in-law. What? I'm not even married. Oh no, Kevin, don't you remember? In German class? Nehmen Sie Brunhilde aus deiner rechtmäßigen, angetrauter Frau. Yeah, whatever. My little girl! Wait, that was for real? She was a foreign exchange student. I thought that was just a skit we were doing in class. You are, in fact, married to Brunhilde Hundehuta. But she went back to Austria. What does this have to do with anything? The heart is a lonely hunter. Wait, don't you remember what happened at the reception? These meatballs are delicious. So spicy. They sure are delicious, Miltville. I wish I had the recipe. Hey, what's this? I think this is the recipe for these spicy meatballs. Why don't you have them? Thanks, pal. Maybe now I can start my own spicy meatball business. No problem, Wildfell. Where is my recipe? It's my recipe now. So you mean that this whole doghouse thing is a result of me giving away my Austrian wife's mother's spicy meatball recipe? Now that is a spicy meatball. But what are we going to do about it? Last week, the video announcements ended with an earthquake that measured a 15 on the Richter scale. Wait, I thought the Richter scale only went to like 9. Well, usually it does, but the earthquake last week seems to have shattered all previous records. Oh, wow. Indeed. Stay tuned after the announcements to see the unbelievable conclusion to the doghouse mystery. Where am I? You are in ancient Greece. We need your help. Kevin, this is your test. You must remember what Trojans have known since mighty Zeus first hurled his lightning bolt. You mean how if you press the 1 and 3 button on the elevator at the same time, it'll take you to the 4th floor? Is that true? Maybe? Hmm, I'll have to check that out. But that is beside the point. You must remember... Wolf's now sir. Wolf's cup, sir. We. Kevin! Kevin! Wake up! Kevin, come on. We need you. What's wrong? That. That's an Austrian meatball. That's an Austrian meatball. That's an Austrian meatball. That's an Austrian meatball. That's Ali, when I was unconscious, I spoke to Trojan Man. What did he say? I don't remember. We don't have time for this. They're getting closer. What are we gonna do? That's an Austrian meatball. 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 Oh, I'm scared, dude. Me too. I can handle this. We will dance the 
shoe plotler. <laughs> Fine, let's go! No, no, no! Stop! There's got to be a better way to solve this. Kevin, remember... I've got it! Thank goodness, that dance is grueling. Trojan Man, he said to be respectful, responsible, and engaged. But he said it backwards. And? Can't you see? I was engaged. I was married to Brunhilda. And you are responsible for all of this. Okay, that's two of the three, but what about the third? Wait, I got it. You were disrespectful when you gave away the meatball recipe, and you didn't take your marriage to Brunhilda seriously. But what can I do? Kevin, you can apologize. Of course, Fraulein. Fraulein, I'm sorry I gave away your meatball recipe. Here it is. And while Brunhilde's a lovely young woman, I'm not ready to settle down yet. Come on, what do you say? Fine. Wait, really? Yes. Despite what you may think, I am not a cruel woman. Well, you did turn a bunch of our friends into dogs. Dude! There is one thing I ask. Anything for you, Fraulein. You will teach me your American teenage dancing. Sure thing, Fraulein. May I have this dance? We were just on the fourth floor. Fraulein Hundehutte invited us all to a big party to apologize for turning us into dogs. Yep, yeah, we're all back to normal. Except for this guy, but he seems happier this way. Wait, who are you? I'm Kyle Shirley. Oh, you thought... It's a common mistake. That's, that's my identical cousin. I'll take that. I'm sorry, Trojan Man. I'm afraid you can't do that. <laughs>